Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the two types of the material that is isotropic and anisotropic material. So, first I have to define them and then I will explain with the help of examples and figure so it will be more easy to understand. So, the first one is isotropic. So, these are those material materials that those materials which have same properties which have same or identical properties in all direction so such type of materials are known as isotropic material so these are materials which have the same or identical properties in all direction so for example if I consider here, this is in a material, in an isotropic material, we mostly have metal and glass. These materials are known as the isotropic material. The, all the metals, for example, the steel bar is also in the case of, are also categorized in the metal and glass. These are the two main examples for the isotropic material. So their properties are same in all the direction. For example, this is any material and we provide the load, we applied the load on this material is a tension load here, for example, P. And A is the cross-sectional area of this ob, of this material or ob material. So if I found out the strength of this material, so it will be load divided by the cross-sectional area. So this, the strength of this material will be the same in all the direction. If this is the x-axis of the material and if I suppose this is the y-axis and this is z-axis so in x-axis we will have the same strength in the material in the y-axis and also in the z-axis the material strength will remain the same in all the direction so such type of material will be known as the isotropic material it may also have some other properties not only the strength but also the young modulus E or the shear modulus or uh, the strength in the material and some other properties. But all these properties will have the same in all the direction. While if we look to the anisotropic material, so now the anisotropic material are those materials which changes their properties. with direction so it means their properties are not same in all the direction but they have different properties in different direction so the materials which change their properties with direction are known as the anisotropic material so for example again if i consider here another material the wood is the most common example for the anisotropic material wood and also the fiber reinforced polymers the frp fiber reinforced polymers are also categorized as the anisotropic material so these are the material for example if I applied the load here P P so their properties in this X direction will have some different values and in this direction in Y direction they will have different properties and in Z direction they will have different properties or maybe same to X in an X direction so the material which shows different properties in each direction these materials are known as the anisotropic material so this was the main difference between these two types of materials where uh, the material which have the same properties in all the direction independent of direction is known as the isotropic material while the materials where the material where the properties changes with the direction are known as the anisotropic material so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.